everyone, and welcome back to the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. We call it Weather for Weather Geeks, and this is Monday evening. It's the first day of August 2022. Hope you and yours had a good weekend. Fantastic weather over the weekend. Low humidity, sunshine, and abundance for most of the weekend, with the exception of for a time Sunday morning when it was kind of cloudy. But uh, the sun came out in the afternoon, turned out to be a great end of the weekend, and we had a pretty nice day overall today, although we've gotten wet in some locations during the second half of the day. We'll talk about that momentarily. But first, of course, since uh, we have a new month, Starting today, we'll just take a moment to quickly review July. Nothing to write home about temperature-wise in July. Yes, it was warmer than average, but not by a huge margin. We had a lot of back and forth in July, actually. And the hottest day of the month was actually the first day of July, when the high was 94 at the airport. We had a 92 a week ago on Sunday, on the 24th. Uh, other than that, we had a lot of days with highs in the 80s, as you would expect in the month of July. We had some warm nights, and so, yeah, overall, about a degree or so warmer than the average is where July kind of shook out. Temperature-wise, <coughs> temperature I should say, excuse me. Now, the bigger story was the precipitation or lack thereof in July. Now, we did a little better in the second half of the month, but it was dry in the first half of July. And when you look at the month as a whole, you see a lot of real estate in our viewing area covered by kind of those yellows and tans indicating below average precipitation. A couple of exceptions, northwestern Trumbull, Southington up to Mesopotamia, also down towards East Liverpool, in southeastern Columbiana County, and even over into parts of uh, Lawrence County, especially the southwestern part of Lawrence County, we, we actually were just a shade above average in some of those spots. But for the most part, we were near or a fair amount below average precipitation-wise in July. And some people are surprised to hear that July is typically our wettest month of the year. A lot of people think of the just hot days with dry weather in July, but because of the frequency of summertime thunderstorms, which of course can bring some bouts of heavy rain, uh, when you look at 30-year averages, July is at the top of the heap as far as our average monthly precipitation. All right, we're into the final stretch now of meteorological summer, the months of June, July, and August. Our average high here on the first day of August is 82. By the end of the month, it'll drop to 79. Of course, this is a slow drop at first. The drop in our averages accelerates rather quickly as we get into September and October. But uh, this month, we just lose a few degrees off those daytime highs as far as the averages are concerned. Same thing with overnight lows. Our average overnight lows slowly drop through the upper 50s at this time of the year. All right, the days are getting shorter, that is for sure. Uh, we've lost uh, 48 minutes since the longest day of the year back on the... Uh, on the summer solstice on June 21st. We're at 14 hours and 20 minutes of daylight today. But, you know, we're getting into the time of the year that even though the uh, average temperatures don't drop quickly, the amount of daylight we see does start to drop pretty quickly. In fact, later this week, we'll be into what we call solar fall, solar autumn, the three months of the year in which we're losing daylight at the most rapid pace. About two uh, minutes and change worth of daylight loss per day now. And so by September 1st, uh, we're down to 13 hours, 5 minutes, which means we lose an hour and 15 minutes of daylight here in the month of August. Yeah, fall, you know, is not that far away when you think about it. Um, my teacher, my uh, wife is a teacher, and when the calendar flips to August 1st, you know, a lot of teachers can kind of consider summer to be kind of over by August 1st because you're into the month that you go back to school and your head starts getting into that space. And, you know, for, for some professions, you know, summer tends to, to wind down a little earlier than for others. All right, it is muggy out there this evening. Uh, the dew point compared to 24 hours ago, five degrees higher as of 7.04. All right, we uh, have had a few rounds of showers and storms across the region, especially in our viewing area south of 224 down into Columbiana County. We got wet at the fairgrounds in Lisbon earlier on, and actually we had a tornado warning for a time earlier out here in eastern Tuscarawas County and uh, parts of Harrison County, and a couple of storms have been showing signs of rotation, including for a brief time, my heart started beating a little faster for a brief time. Uh, earlier, we had a little rotation in eastern Carroll County, that thankfully weakened as it headed into southern Columbiana County, but for a couple of scans of the radar, it looked a little bit interesting, but some of this stuff down towards Pittsburgh that went through the Wheeling area has shown some signs uh, that it wants to to rotate a little bit, and as of this recording, a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings are out, including a, a tornado possible tag on this warning that is uh, crossing from the panhandle of West Virginia into some of the far western and southwestern suburbs of, of Pittsburgh. Uh, no tornado warning, again, as of this recording, but a tornado possible tag on that particular warning. Just a little bit of rotation by some of these storms. I've seen no confirmed reports of any tornadoes. Severe thunderstorm watches out this evening. 
along the Ohio River, now back towards Cincinnati and into uh, southern Indiana, parts of northern Kentucky, into uh, southeastern Illinois as well. That's where the highest severe weather threat will be overnight. Now we have a one-day break from the muggy air coming our way for tomorrow. Here's this modest push of drier air off to our north and west this evening. This comes in tomorrow. I wish it were more than one day, but it's really just one day because it's going to get stinking hot and humid again by Wednesday into Thursday, and I think it stays pretty muggy into the upcoming weekend. As far as our forecast tonight, that main cluster of showers and storms has exited off to the south and east. A uh, renegade shower, perhaps a thunder shower, can't be ruled out for a time this evening. These will fade away overnight. We'll be left with a partly to a times mostly cloudy sky, and while tomorrow might, might start with clouds in some parts of our area, maybe even a sprinkle here and there, I think it's going to turn out to be a very nice afternoon. In fact, tomorrow I would say would be the best day of the whole week to head to Lisbon and check out the Columbiana County Fair. Lots of good food, lots of good things to do, and no weather concerns for the afternoon on our Tuesday. It'll be a delightful afternoon and evening. The dew points come down, nice northerly to northwesterly breeze, and temperatures no higher than about 80. Here comes the heat and the humidity, though, beyond Tuesday. So as high pressure drifts across, our nice day Tuesday, followed by a warm front on Wednesday. A much hotter day Wednesday with temperatures near 90. Those dew points start to come up as well. We'll be dry Wednesday. Maybe a stray shower or storm at times Wednesday night through the daylight hours on Thursday. But the wetter periods look to be Thursday night into Friday. And even into parts of the weekend, you know, we're talking about days five and six now, so our official forecast is not particularly wet. The, the rain chances aren't that high, but today's only Monday. Uh, pretty high confidence that Friday is a day where we'll see frequent showers and storms, maybe even some bouts of heavy rain. And then over the weekend, these rain chances might go up uh, as we get a little bit closer. But uh, if you have outdoor plans this weekend, just be prepared, I think, for the possibility of getting wet. Now here's our computer model averages for the next week as far as rainfall and these are always kind of region-wide averages. You know the drill in the summer season with the nature of thunderstorms. You can have wide variations in the amount of rain that, uh, that uh, you can see in fairly short distances across our area. So a region-wide average over the next seven days of an inch to maybe an inch and a half to two inches but that's a region-wide average. Some places will see less than an inch, and I, I guess I wouldn't be surprised if some places had more than a couple of inches of rain over the next seven days with a, uh, again, Friday in particular could bring some tropical rains. Um, I, I think we're in for a, a fairly unsettled end of this week and first weekend of August. In the meantime, yeah, it's going to be hot. Heat index values Wednesday afternoon, and especially Thursday afternoon, could be well up into the 90s. So get ready for that, and get ready for a fresh edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. Same time, same place. On Tuesday, I will see you then.